Okay, well, I always teach my dogs a good bit of heel work when they're young. I think it's a good basis for them to learn that this is where they belong. If there's, you know, if you haven't given them a command, they should come back here and they find themselves sitting and waiting by your left leg. To train them to work, walk nicely to heel, and I think it's important, as I say, a lot of people don't bother because they say with a hunting dog, you don't need to teach it to walk to heel, just have it on the lead when you don't want it hunting. But I want to have mine in control at a shoot off the lead. So carrot, sit, carrot, sit. Carrot's nine months old. I always keep a check chain in my pocket, sit. I don't use it much. It's quite harsh if it's used badly. If it's used well, it gives them a short correction and then it frees off straight away. So that's in my pocket. This is the one that's used most of the time. But this is the one for training, not on a tiny puppy, but as they get older and more self-opinionated, they need to have this as a correction. Carrot, he, come here. Dilatory nine month old puppy, it happens. So pop it on so that it pulls across the top of her neck. Good girl. Come to heel, there's a good girl. A few treats to keep her keen. You know, there's no um, set method that works. Kindness, praise, persistence as an owner. Keep on conditioning them, eventually they get it. They're never gonna love it. It's just one of those necessary evils. Carrot, sit, sit, good girl. Carrot, heel. So she's lagging a bit, so I've got to get her interest. Carrot, heel, come, good girl, good girl. Carrot, heel. Brrr. What a good girl. Heel. Heel. Good girl. Carrot, heel. T sit. Very good. Heel. Sit. Very good. Very good. Carrot. Heel. 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 T sit. What a good girl. So now we'll go for the um, slip lead. Heel. This is a good girl. A bit of running just livens the dog up. If its tail's dropped, its back's up, its ears are back, sit. You know that you've been too harsh or you've done it for too long. You've got to keep them as a partner. If you're bossing them about all the time and they're not happy, it's just not gonna work. So just keep that balance all the time. Heel, sit. Now we're gonna do a little bit of off the lead. And I keep this, if possible, in an enclosed area because if you do off the lead with a young puppy in the middle of a field, they learn very quickly. They can drift and go off taking in scent. Come on, heel. Now sit, taking in scent and you know, you're teaching them that they can have their own agenda. So try and do it in an enclosed area. If they're even sniffing on the grass, carrot, sit. Have them on a roadway, a little lane, somewhere which helps them to achieve, okay? Carrot, heel, good girl, come on, heel. What a good girl, heel, he, heel. Heel, hey, pop. heel, come, heel, heel, heel. If it's not good enough, heel, don't accept it, sit, heel, heel, sit. Oh, what a good girl, very good, very good. You get the gist. <laughs>